a common practice for electricians to install additional conductors into a conduit raceway system that may already contain conductors. To determine the total number of conductors permitted in a conduit, apply the following steps. Step one, determine the conductor fill of the conduit. The conductor fill is the maximum area that can be occupied by conductors and is typically 40% of the cross-sectional area of the conduit. This leaves 60% of the conduit unavailable for use. If the conduit being used is one and a half inch EMT, per table four in the NEC, 40% of the cross-sectional area of one and a half inch EMT containing more than two conductors equals 0.814 square inches. Step two, determine the cross-sectional area of the existing conductors. Per table five in the NEC, the cross-sectional area of a number eight THHN conductor equals 0.0366 square inches. If 10 number eight THHN conductors are in a conduit, then the cross-sectional area of the existing conductors equals 0.366 square inches. Step three, determine the cross-sectional area available for additional conductors. Subtract the cross-sectional area of the pre-existing conductors from the conductor fill of the conduit. The cross-sectional area available for additional conductors equals 0.448 square inches.